My name is Ms. Blackwood and today I'm going to do a demonstration of facial waxing and that's going to include the eyebrows, the lip, and the chin. I'm going to use a combination of soft wax and hard wax. So the first thing you want to do before your client comes is have your room prepared. So this is my workstation, this is my table. I've already used my citrus too and my paper towels with my gloved hand and cleansed everything. So, um, and I've gone ahead and set out everything for my client that I am going to need for this waxing service. So to begin with, I've got my gloves. I always put out an extra pair of gloves just in case these rip when you're putting them on. I have my hand sanitizer. I've got my cleanser that I'm going to use to cleanse the area that will be waxed. I have my astringent, which is my toner that I will use. And then I also have um, aloe to calm the area down. And then I would also have some oil if any wax is left on the skin so that I could remove that. The other items that I'm going to need is items to actually perform the service. So I have different size spatulas here. I've got my small spatula, which I would use to do the eyebrow wax with. I've got my medium, which some people consider popsicle sticks to do my lip area with. And then I have my larger spatula to do the chin area with. I also have some cotton rounds and some 4x4s and this is going to be used when I'm using the product. So either one you want to use, you can also use cotton rounds, um, I mean cotton balls. So I also have various size strips, so I have a smaller strip for when I do my eyebrow waxing. I have um, some medium strips for my lip. And then I have uh, larger strips for my chin area. So it's good to go ahead and have these pre-cut prior to your client coming in. So that's going to save you time and you're not going to have to cut while they're on your table. I also have um, spoolies or a brush. You can use either one of these. Um, and this is going to be to brush up the hair. We'll talk more about that later. Uh, the other thing you're going to need is a pair of scissors and a pair of tweezers. So this is going to, um, the other thing you're going to need um, is a mirror so your client can actually see the work that you've done when you have finished. So now um, Miss Sally has come in. Hi Sally, how are you? Welcome to the spa. It's a pleasure meeting you. So right here I have Sally's consultation form. So I'm going to just talk with her and make sure that she is able to get waxed today. So one of the things that I want to determine is I want to do a consultation and um, I always confirm what they're coming in for. So hi Sally, we've got you down for an eyebrow wax, a lip wax, and a chin wax today, is that correct? Yes, absolutely fabulous, great, okay. Well, um, I'm just gonna analyze your face um, for a few minutes and take a look and see what's going on with everything. So I'm looking and I see that she doesn't have um, any raised or swollen areas. I see that she doesn't have any abrasions anywhere on her face, no cold sores, anything like that. So the next thing um, I'd like to know is if you've had um, any type of a chemical peel uh, in the last two weeks, no? Okay, wonderful. How about any kind of injections, Botox or fillers, anything like that in the past um, three weeks? No, nothing? Okay, wonderful. So I talked to her to find out um, to make sure that she is able to get waxing, and she is. So the next thing I want to do is actually talk to her about her eyebrows and find out how she wants them shaped. So, Sally, can you tell me a little bit about your eyebrows? Do you prefer them to be um, thicker or thinner? You like them on the thicker side, okay. And you are just more or less wanting them cleaned up? Absolutely, yes. We can take care of that. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take off a few hairs at a time and then I'm going to let you take a look and uh, make sure you're happy with that. If not, we can remove um, more hair. So it's always better to start on the cautious side and just remove a little bit of hair because you can always go back and remove more, but you can't put back if you've removed too much. So always be on the cautious side with that. So the first thing I'm gonna do um, before we get started is I'm going to wash my hands um, and follow the hand washing procedure. So I'm running the water, I'm getting my soap, um, I put it on my hand, I'm cleaning the top of my hands, both sides all the way up to the wrist. I'm gonna interlock my fingers. I'm going to clean my fingertips. I'm gonna clean my thumb. And again, I'm making sure that I'm going all the way up to my wrist. This I has been 20 to 30 seconds. I'm rinsing my hands now. Okay, and then I'm going to take a paper towel. I'm going to dry my hands, and I'm gonna dispose of this in my trash can. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put on my gloves, and that way I can begin my service. So what I do once I put my gloves on is I just go ahead and sanitize my hands again. Um, it's always better to be cautious um, I'd rather over sanitize and clean. All right, so what I like to do is I actually like to start with the lip and chin area first because it doesn't take as long. And then I like to save the brows for last, but either way you want to do it is fine. It doesn't matter. So I have my hard wax in here and I have my soft wax in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to cleanse the areas in which I'm going to wax. So I've got my cotton round, I've got my cleanser. I'm gonna put this on here. And then since we are doing three areas, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one cotton round and cleanse all three of the areas that we're gonna do. And then I'm going to throw this in the trash. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my toner and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to wipe the eyebrows, the lip, and the chin area. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another cotton round and I'm going to actually dry the area. And the reason you want to dry the area is because if this area is still wet and you try to apply wax, it's not going to adhere to the skin. So you want to make sure that you're working with a clean, dry area. So now we are actually ready to perform our waxing procedure. So what I'm going to do on one side, I'm going to use soft wax and then on the other side, I'm going to use hard wax. And her hair is growing down. So what we want to do is we want to apply the wax in the direction of the hair growth. And then when we go to remove it, we're going to remove in the opposite direction. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a smaller stick. This is my soft wax here. So I'm going to dip it in my soft wax, and then what you want to do is make sure that you wipe off any excess wax. Always hold your hand under the wax so that you do not drip wax on the counter, on the floor. You would never want to accidentally drop that on the client. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply my soft wax, and you want to go ahead and apply it down to where the hair stops growing which for her is right there. So now I'm gonna throw this in the trash. I'm gonna sanitize my hands. And now I'm going to, oh, um, when you apply that, um, make sure that you're doing it at the 45 degree angle. 
And now we are ready to remove that soft wax. So I've got my strip that's already pre-cut for my lip area. So I'm gonna put that on here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to rub this about three times. That's gonna make sure that that wax is heated up to come off. So now that I'm ready to remove this, I'm gonna actually pull this skin taut. And um, oh, what I'm gonna do is, because I'm pulling in this direction, you always wanna pull away from you. So I'm going to actually hold that skin taut. I'm going to remove that and apply pressure. When you're removing the strip, make sure that you never pull straight up. You wanna pull at an angle. And now that we've done that side, I'm going to dispose of this in the trash, sanitize my hands. And so on the other side, I'm going to do the hard wax. And this is just to let you see the difference between the two in regards to how you apply. So for the soft wax, we put it on very, very thin so that you can still see the skin. With the hard wax, you're going to apply it a little bit thicker. And so we're going to take another popsicle stick, put it in our hard wax. Again, any excess wax you want to remove. And you want to hold, again, your hand. So now what we're going to do is, again, we're going to apply this wax coming down because that is the direction of the hair growth. And then what we can do is we can take the opposite end of our stick and lift the wax up a little bit to give what we call a lift. And that's what we're gonna use when we actually remove this hard wax from the client's skin. Trash, sanitize. So normally depending on what area you're waxing and how thick you have to put it on, you're gonna have to wait about 30 seconds. Um, so it's been 30 seconds and now she's ready to have that removed. So again, I'm going to stand on this side so that I am pulling away from myself. And again, you're going to hold the skin taut. And I've got my lip here, so I'm going to pull at an angle, apply that pressure. And then this, I'm going to throw in the trash. And I'm going to sanitize my hands again. So that is how you would do the lip wax. And now we're going to move on to the chin wax again. I'm going to do the chin um, half hard wax, half soft wax, and we're going to do it in sections. So I'm going to, for the chin area, because it's a little bit larger area, I'm going to actually use my popsicle stick. So I'm going to do the hard wax first. So I'm going to dip it in the hard wax, remove any excess wax. Again, hold this over my hand. And I'm going to apply this um, hair is growing down. So with the hard wax, you can kind of do like you're battering a cake where you're going um, back and forth. And again, I'm going to use my opposite end of the stick to lift up the wax to give me that lift. And um, I'm going to throw this in the trash, do my sanitize. So what um, I want you to notice is that when I did the chin, I only went to right here. I didn't go all the way down. Um, I'm going to do it in smaller sections because that's going to be less painful for the client. So this wax has hardened, so it's ready to be removed. Again, I'm going to hold the skin taut. I'm going to take that lip and I'm going to pull at an angle and apply that pressure. So throw this hard wax away, sanitize my hands. So now for the other side, I'm going to use the soft wax. And again, I'm going to use my larger stick to do this with, my spatula. We've got our hard wax, wiping off the excess. Hold it over our hand. And now we're applying this. And don't forget, you want to apply at a 45 degree angle. And you want it to be thin so that you can still see the skin. Trash, sanitize. All right, so now we're ready to do this and remove this. So 
I'm going to use one of my pre-cut strips already. We're going to apply this and again we're going to smooth it, rub it, get that wax, make sure it's warm and again I'm going to stand over here so that I'm pulling away. I'm holding taut right underneath. I'm pulling this at an angle and I'm applying that pressure. So this is going to go in the trash and we're going to sanitize. So underneath, some people will have hair, some people will have no hair. If there's no hair there, there's no need to whack this area. Um, she's got three little stray hairs here, so I'm just going to use some soft wax and get those little three hairs. So because it's just a little tiny area that I'm doing, I'm going to convert back to the popsicle stick. And again, I'm going to apply this at a 45 degree angle. And we're just going to do those three little hairs. This is going to go in the trash, sanitize. And again, I'm going to use one of my pre-cuts and we're going to smooth this down. And I'm going to hold right underneath and then I'm going to remove at an angle and apply that pressure. So sometimes um, when you're holding the chin area and you might have to put your hand on the client's throat, that's okay. Just don't apply pressure. Don't choke them. All right, so now we have finished with the lip and chin area. So um, there's no excess wax on there that needs to be removed. So I am going to go ahead and apply some aloe for her because she got a little bit uh, pink, not red or anything, just a little pinkness. So when I apply the aloe, I just like to tap it. Everywhere that I've waxed, and then just have that absorbed into the skin. And then if you have any excess that didn't absorb in, you can just um, wipe off any excess. And then this is gonna go in the trash and I'm gonna sanitize. So remember, we've already cleansed the eyebrows, we've already toned. Um, the eyebrows so now we're ready to actually wax the eyebrows so what I personally like to do is when I'm doing eyebrows is I actually like to start in between the brows to begin with so that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to take a popsicle stick using my soft wax I am um, removing any excess her hair is growing upward so I'm going to apply this wax coming upward at a 45 degree angle and then again remember you want it um, very thin so you can still see the skin through the wax. I've trashed and sanitized so now I am ready to go ahead and remove these hairs. So I'm going to take one of these size strips because it fits really nicely in between the brows. I'm going to rub, get that wax heated and now I'm going to hold the skin taut and I am removing downward because that's the opposite direction of the hair growth. So the next thing that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take my spoolie and I'm actually going to brush the brows up and the reason you want to do this is because that's going to allow you to see any um, the hairline underneath here and that way you can just remove small sections at a time instead of just randomly um, pulling hair out. So what I like to do is she's got some longer hairs so I'm going to get my scissors and trim those. So what I'm going to do is use my spoolie and um, stop my spoolie at the top of her brow line and then any hairs above that is what I'm going to remove. So I'm going to use my scissors. Okay, so I have removed um, the long hairs. I'm going to use my scissors for the other side so I'm going to put them back on my SMA. This spoolie I'm going to throw in the trash. 
So now I'm actually ready to do my waxing. So I'm going to use the small spatula. I'm using soft wax. Again, just remember to wipe off excess, hold over your hand, and when you're applying the wax, you're going to apply it at a 45 degree angle, and you're going to make sure that you can see that skin. And I'm actually going to do this in three sections. Um, so we've got this little area. This is going to go in the trash. I'm going to sanitize, and now I'm going to use my eyebrow strip. I'm going to rub that and then I'm going to hold the skin taunt and I'm going to remove and apply that pressure. This will go on the trash, I'm going to sanitize and now we're ready to do the next section. Again, we're still using the soft wax. So now I'm getting right here in the center. And this is going to go in the trash, sanitize. And again, we're going to use a strip. And we are applying. We're going to hold taunt and we're going to remove this in the opposite direction and apply that pressure. Trash, and now we have one small little section right here that we need to wax. So we're going to get that section. So again, we're applying this wax at a 45 degree angle. We're keeping it super thin so we can see that skin. We're going to throw this in the trash. We're going to sanitize, and we're going to get another strip and get this last little section. So we're rubbing and we're holding taunt. We're pulling in the opposite direction and applying that pressure. Trash. Okay. So I've noticed that she has um, a couple of strays right here that I'm going to get. So I'm going to use my tweezers for that. So what I'm going to want to do is hold her skin taut with my finger and thumb and then I'm actually going to use my tweezers and remove that hair in the growth direction so her hair is growing down. So we're going to remove going down. So I am going to hold this skin taut. I'm going to remove that hair with my tweezers going down and then we're going to get this other one. And so we have gotten underneath. So she does have a couple of um, hairs up here that she wants removed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to now brush downward. And then um, the few hairs that she has right above here, I'm going to remove those again with soft wax. So I'm going to put these back on my SMA. I'm going to get uh, my soft wax. Again, I'm just applying at a 45 degree angle. And she just has a few straights up here we're going to get. And I'm still able to see through that skin that's going in the trash. We're sanitizing. And we're just going to use our small strip. We're going to apply that strip to that wax. Again, we're going to hold the skin taut, remove at an angle, and apply that pressure. So now I'm going to let the client look at her eyebrows and make sure that's the way that she wants them. Okay, Sally, I'm going to let you take a look. What do you think? Do you like that? Perfect. All right, great. So since Sally likes the way this brow looks, I'm just going to repeat it and do the same thing on the other side. So now I have finished with Sally's brows and I'm going to apply some aloe. And again, I'm just going to dot this, pat this where I removed her hairs. And this is going to go in the trash and we're going to sanitize our hands.
So now that we're done with Sally, we're going to take her to the front and let her check out. Um, Sally, you do need to come back and rebook in four weeks, and that way we can just keep your um, hair growth down and have your brows looking on point. So I've taken Sally to the front. She's all checked out. So I've come back to my room, so I'm going to take these gloves off, throw them in the trash. I'm going to sanitize my hands. I'm going to put on a new pair of gloves. And now I am going to clean up my workstation and get prepared for my next client. So any items that I um, use would be trash. So this is the wax paper. We're going to throw this in the trash. So anything that I did not use, I can put back in my um, sanitized container. So I'm going to use this and put in my spatulas that were not used. Put in my 4x4s um, and my strips that weren't used. So these are our implements that we use. So now these have to be disinfected. So because our scissors cannot be immersed, we're going to actually cleanse them with barbicide wipes and we're going to do two. The reason that we do two is the first one is just removing any debris and dirt off of your implement. So this is my barbicide wipe. So I've wiped it the first time. I'm going to throw this in the trash, get a second barbicide wipe, and cleanse this a second time because the second cleanse is what's actually disinfecting this implement. So what I would actually do is um, sit this on a paper towel, let it dry for two to four minutes. After it has dried, I would put it in my sanitized container. So we let it sit for four minutes. So now I'm going to go ahead and put that in my sanitized container. Um, spoolie can be thrown in the trash. So these can actually be submerged. So what I would do is the first thing I would do is take them to the sink, wash them with soap and water, rinse them, dry them off. Then I would put them in my barbicide. So the barbicide is going to be 32 ounces of water to two ounces of barbicide. I'm gonna let them soak for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I am going to go and get them from the barbicide, rinse them, dry them, and then I would put them in my sanitized clean container. So now I'm going to dispose of all the other items that I use. The product that I use, I would actually put that back in the shelf um, in the counter where it goes. We have a cabinet that we keep our supplies in. And then throw this.